how to create a radial gradient design like this in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. Go to the Tools panel and select the Ellipse tool. Go to the top left and drag, hold down the shift to create a circle design. Then go to the Gradient tool in the Tools panel and drag across like that. So you've ended up with this gradient applied to the shape. Change the type to Radial. Go up here and type and radial. And I want to position it in the center. So just go here and just drag that into the center of this circle. Also, click up here and you can see you can edit that gradient. You've got first stop and the last stop. However, select the first stop and you can see insert. Click there and you will get one in the middle between this one and this one. You can repeat that. Go back to the first one and insert and you'll get another one in between that middle one. And again, go there, insert and you can see you can build up very rapidly lots and lots of these dots simply or stops just by clicking here, insert. As long as this one's selected, insert. And you can see it's positioned in between that entry and the next one. So you've got that middle one there. I think that's as many stops as I can add. Unfortunately, you can't drag out the panel. It'd be really nice. In Photoshop, you can. In Affinity, it's fixed. However, what you can now do is select each of those stops and you've got color down here. Click there and you've got options here for sliders all the way down here. And I'm going to go with swatches. Swatches are great because now what you've got is you've got this selection of colors. So you've got themed colors. So you go for yellow and you can go to the next one. Click there again and then you go for blue. And of course you can go all the way through in order if you wish. Or click there, maybe start here. Or maybe just go down one, whatever you want to do. But you can build up very rapidly a load of different colors for your gradient design. And I'm going to repeat that all the way through. Unfortunately, there's no randomization feature. That would be brilliant so you could randomize these color stops. However, now you've got your design, you can see it's slightly incorrect, the position. You can just move it there, and now I think that's centered. So there you have it, a lovely gradient design, which of course you can now rasterize or use in many different ways in Affinity Photo. If you want to recolor it, it's a layer and you can add additional layers to it. So layer, down to new adjustment layer, and maybe go for gradient map, or HSL or recolor. I'm going with HSL. With the panel, you can now go over here to Hue Shift and you can just drag. And as you do that, you can see what happens. The colors for those stops all change. It'd be really great if that feature, of course, was available in the gradient panel. Unfortunately, it isn't. And you can tweak it to your heart's content. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you very much.